the first. Another day, another immigration stuff up. This time, several Palestinians given passports uh, by this government have had them cancelled when they were in transit in Egypt. This just the day after another government bungle when it admitted it gave invalid visas to the 149 foreign criminals, including murderers and rapists that led out of immigration detention. And I've got to ask again, why has Immigration Minister Andrew Giles not been sacked already? But about these Palestinians, now I said for weeks, how could this government give more than 2,000 visas to Palestinians from terrorists from Gaza and the West Bank? That's already one problem here, because we've already learned the hard way, the dangers to us of importing people from war zones. Then another thing I've asked for weeks is why the Immigration Department took as little as a day to approve such visas. All of these ones issued since the start of Israel's war with the Hamas terrorist group that runs Gaza. How could you possibly do security assessments of these people in that time, especially when we don't have consular officials in place in Gaza? Now, the opposition was also amazed, but the Prime Minister back then made out they're just uh, being mean, scaremongering. He's just wrong. And you know what he does every day, you see it. It's just fear campaigns uh, every day uh, that don't have a basis uh, in what is going on. ABC host Patricia Carvelis was also appalled that the Liberals were questioning these visas. But there is no evidence that any of them are dangerous, is there? But are you talking about people being active, uh, you know, actual potential terrorists in this country or well, their political would... ideology? But it seems the government has belatedly had a second thought about these visas as been tossing out like confetti to Palestinians. Now, one of the Palestinians that's turned back, a woman, has been told, well, actually, we reckon you lied to us. Not that you're a terrorist supporter. Uh, but as part of the visa application process, you were required to be genuinely intending to stay temporarily in Australia. But now the department's delegate considered you never intended a genuine stay temporarily. Well, no kidding, Sherlock. Uh, but there were also security concerns. Were there or maybe not with this woman? None for this woman, but maybe for some of the others who have been now rejected? I don't know. But the thing is, I don't think the government would actually admit it if there were. The Prime Minister indeed flubbered his way through a press conference today while opposition leader Peter Dutton went on the attack. This has been a difficult situation uh, for people and I understand that it's a very difficult circumstance uh, for families. Uh, the government uh, makes uh, or these decisions are made uh, upon advice uh, based upon individuals. The government's rushed here to issue these visas in a circumstance I can't understand how it's in our country's best interests. And it just seems to me that this is another thing that Minister Giles has botched. What a clown show. Our borders, your security in Labor's hands.